How would you guys say that animal abuse makes you feel? Yeah, I don't like seeing animals abused, but the ecosystem is like kind of happy animals. But it's also like, like that. I don't feel like that's right. Something about it is just like you wouldn't do that to people. So you know what I'm saying? This is kind of sick. And they be like doing it like there's better methods to go about, you know, farming. And that's just like. Okay. Right. And uh, do you think that in today's modern society, it's still necessary to do this to animals? Oh, definitely not. Oh, they could have figured out way more things that they could have done to, to give us like our food or whatever. Right. They already got doing uh, with plants. Like they already got plant-based meat and stuff. So like you could figure that out. You could definitely figure out a better way to... Thing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so what we're promoting here, that's what we're promoting, just not financially supporting this and uh, consuming plant-based meats, plant-based dairy, plant-based eggs, plant-based clothing, yeah. and because uh, we're promoting animal rights here in the form of veganism. Okay. Because regardless of, you mentioned how they could maybe treat the animals better, yeah. when it comes to that, do you think that there's ever a good way to kill? Definitely not. You know, you it's not a good way to kill anybody. Natural death is like, you know, that's like that. Any type of kill, you know, drink your body. Yeah, there is no good way to kill. Because it's not good. Like, you gotta think about who you're killing. You know, really. it's like, Absolutely. And uh, as an ind as individuals, do you think it's possible to be against animal abuse while financially supporting these industries through buying meat, dairy, and eggs? No, if you're not buying meat, dairy, and eggs, you're buying plant-based everything, then you shouldn't. You're not going to support them because that's what they get their money from. It's like when you buy, when you go out to go so you buy like that chicken, that milk, two percent, whatever, you know, type of milk. Eggs, blah blah blah, 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 blah. you know, you support. That's where they are getting their money from. Once Absolutely. They stop doing that. They ain't get no more money. They can't keep those things going. And then. Yeah, exactly. It's supply and demand. Yeah. So for you two as individuals, what do you feel like would be stopping you from not supporting what's on the screens and being vegan? Nothing to stop you. Unless, like, you know, maybe. I've had plant based food before. I didn't really like it. But I still try, like, not to. Like, I don't try to force it, but, like, you know, I switch milk. I switch my milk to plant based milk. You know, I still eat, like, food like that. I try to eat healthier, though, more vegetables and fruit than meat in general. Like, meat got all kinds of, you know, all kinds of um, GMOs and things like that. But at the same time, it's like, I still eat meat, though. It's just because. That's what I'm surrounded by. Yeah. It's, so, and uh, you said that you like the taste of meat. You know, you didn't love the taste of the plant-based options. Yeah. So none of us here went vegan because we stopped liking the taste of animal products. Yeah. All of us here went vegan. Because we uh, care about the animals. Because we had to place ourselves in the victim's position and think about how would we feel if we were subjected yeah. to cruelty. This is just for eggs right here. Oh. This is in the egg industry. What happens is only the females lay eggs. So every male, they right? Kill the males. They can't like release them or nothing. Every male, oh, it's more cost efficient. Shit. Cause I thought that was food when we was walking up. I thought that was like apples and shit. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's sick, bro. What the hell? Well, they just killing them. It was killing the males, bro. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, oh, shit. it really is. Yo that's, yo, that's really crazy. No, but like, imagine like they just killing all the all the human men. Like, imagine they started doing that to us. Like, females were just doing that. That's sick. They said, oh, you got a baby and you got a penis, just kill it. Like, that's crazy. Oh, shit. That is it's wow. crazy. Damn, yeah. That's just crazy. Damn. I didn't even think it was that deep. 
I didn't even think it was that deep. And it's, crazy. it's not just in eggs, it's the same exact thing in dairy because only the females produce milk. So what do you think happens to all of the males in the dairy industry? So they killing all the cows too? <laughs> bro, I'm heated. Yo, I'm heated, bro. <laughs> Who authorized that shit? Yo, I'm heated. The thing is, if, if you leave this conversation and you decide not to be vegan, you'll be authorizing it because you'll be financially supporting it. You'll be pro-animal cruelty with your dollar. I'm about to feel bad every time I eat chicken. Oh, dog. Now here's the thing, do you know what the number one benefit is of going vegan? Isn't it good for your body? Well, it can be... It's good for the environment though, right? Yeah, so it can impact the environment, it can impact your health for sure. The number one benefit, obviously for the animals, they're no longer tortured and abused because of you. And the best benefit for you two as individuals, when you're vegan, for the first time, you no longer have to be a hypocrite. So, it seems like you guys have been really impacted by this footage. Going forward, what are you guys are gonna do? He don't know yet. I don't know yet. He don't know yet. I really don't. What I'll leave you with? I gotta like talk to my family about it, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, that, they cook in the house, you know? Like, I don't want to be like the outcast in the house, like, oh, everybody's eating, I can't, you know. Is it the same thing with fish? Yeah, the fishing industry, any industry, whether it's fish, fur, leather, animal testing, meat, dairy, eggs. <laughs> I'm doing with fish, too. Every industry that uses animals, they view them as an, an object. They view them as a commodity. Oh, yeah. All right, well, uh, thank you for enlightening us. Um, I appreciate it. We're going to think about it, definitely. We're going to think about it. You said how you might be tough, you know, in social situations with your family. Ultimately, what it comes down to, you have to ask yourself whenever you're feeling that discomfort, is it worth it? If you were to place yourself in the victim's position, what would you want someone like yourself to do? And just comparing it to any other injustice. If this was child abuse, and you acknowledge that child abuse is wrong, but you said, hey, all my friends do it, my family does it, would you view that? That applies to a lot of shit. It does. Oh, that applies to a lot of shit. Bro, bro, he's hitting me right now. Bro, so whenever you're feeling that discomfort, shit. just compare it to any other injustice. Yeah. And if I were to give you a card, so you could do more research on it, would you be interested? I mean, I myself, after hearing it, I probably wouldn't. I clearly see what's wrong, and it's pretty simple. But like, I'd give it to like, I tell my, I'll talk to somebody. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, let me give you a card. You can show your family, friends. You can give me a card. Yeah, it's fine. Lacey, Nico, you got a card? And you said it's pretty simple, and yeah, at the end of the day, this is one really, uh, just, oh yeah, two. You want a card too? Um, sure. Cool. And uh, like you said, also with this card, uh, it's pretty simple stuff, like you said, so you don't What's need, all, all you need to do is just do some Google searches and you'll be set. Yeah. yeah. It really, it just comes down to taking animal abuse seriously, and then everything else will work out just fine. On that card, there's a speech called The Best Speech You'll Ever Hear. I oh, really, it's about, it's about this, it's about taking the animal rights seriously through the form of veganism. I highly recommend checking out that speech. And uh, what I'll leave you with is just keep in mind that for however long that you're not vegan, animals are gonna be tortured and abused because of you. So think about what side of history you want your name to stand on.